Sorry about my phone there, right as I pressed the play button. Welcome, welcome. We are here again for more game. And I'm excited because we are almost at 30 episodes, which I think is quite an achievement. Um, but yeah, time to undeafen. Hello, hello. Peanut butter hello. and sandwiches are great with sardines. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Don't ask. I won't. <laughs> Sorry, I was remembering an episode of Adam Ruins Everything. Hi, everyone! Hello, chat! I didn't and audience on YouTube. Oh, we're mm. on YouTube? I, I mean, it's gonna be posted to YouTube. Okay, everyone, say one swear before it gets put onto there! <laughs> we, we, need, we only get one! We only get one! You say that, mm. and yet you guys swear all throughout the oh, thing. Yes. True, I am the one with the largest potty mouth, but also I'm playing the character who doesn't actually say the curse words. Yeah, you just go. Except for a not. <laughs> Wait, was that connected to voice mod? Hold on. Dang it. Dang it, OBS wasn't connected to voice mod! Ah! It does feel weird playing Tommy in a party that is has a lot of chaotic and fun things to it, and having to be the voice of reason hurts my soul. <laughs> ah. Also, it does feel nice to do something different once in a while. Although, I have that inkling of Victor always coming up my back like a symbiote made of minty gum. Yeah, we need to get back to Ravnica at some point, but n no pressure on you, Richard. Just, we want to get back. I need to figure out where I put Meep. 
The thing is, I don't. I haven't been in a Rogers block trying to find what the f we were doing. I think we were still hunting that one guy. Uh, we, 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 can, we can do that later because right now we're here for the Brossum games. Yeah. yeah. I believe off the top of my head, my head, we were, we're in the Rakdos district hunting Crabman. We took yes. a break after getting our ass kicked by Shia LaBeouf and explosions. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, if we're all ready, I think it's time to transition over. <laughs> Right. Oh yeah. Dang it, phone! I'm gonna put you on to just vibrate at this point. Oh my! Not like that. <laughs> no, no, I just was. I oh, know. I just found one of my Pokemon cards. <laughs> Don't you try and pull that I'm with sorry. me. I know what you were so thinking. Was really <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I had a shiny one. Oh my! Uh, what are we doing? Right. Well, I am about to do a recap, uh, and I just yeah. gotta pull up the right That timing was just too perfect. Uh, so, last time on Family Memories, the party hunted the source of the wyverns that were plaguing the capital of Antechni, uh, at Theoi. So, after a skill check, they were able to find the hill where the wyverns were coming from. And at that location, they found three elves and a kobold. After defeating these opponents, they gathered information, leading them to believe that these individuals were the servants of a dragon lord from the territories. They also learned at this point, um, well, uh, sorry, my mistake. Uh, Zuko then spoke to one of these individuals, one of the elves, to send along a message, which I shall keep secret from the rest of the party. Uh, and... Really he was sending fanfiction letters. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> also, something I forgot to do, but uh, would any of you like to search the hideout of these individuals? Uh, Lima did that before you exited out last time and failed. Alright. Uh, well... Sure, I'll do that. Well, uh, you didn't find any information, but, um, because I forgot to roll any possible loot, I did that otherwise. You will find three reddish potions. One potion that's kinda gray, kinda purple, and then a spell, a, uh, a scroll of some kind. Why am I having flashbacks to that one time I kept making mutagens and putting them in every campaign? So, three red, one gray, one scroll, right? Yes. Hmm. Does Tommy wish to do Tommy things? Oh yeah, I, I forget. What? Wait, I forget. So I in the dick. They quickly try to in identify the uh, potions I picked up. I would need an Arcana check. Okay. Oh, yeah, wasn't I just rejoining the party at the cliffhanger? Uh, yes. Yes, after I was waiting for you. Nine, you cannot oh, no. identify the potions. Yeah, I figured as much. Roll the six on the die. I'm just gonna re have to rejoin the party at that point during the cliffhanger and you're being like, Sorry, I'm a bit late. What happened to the guy? I had to bury him a bit. Bury? Yeah, I killed him. Does anyone doubt Zuko? Yes. Insight versus Zuko's deception. God, let me pull up that bluff. <laughs> well, you can't roll lower than a 10, and you have expertise in it. I failed. I just see how bad it got. <laughs> 21. It's a Lima. So... You fully believe he killed a man. The question is, does Lima find that even more repulsive or not? That's up to Lima. They would. Lima just looks at you, glaring. 
It was necessary. Tommy's going to hit you over the head. Dude, we do not kill people. We needed him for information. I got as much as I could out of him. Yeah, you don't kill them. What's wrong with you? The guy was tied up. We had all the time in the world. You just killed a man. What went wrong? That was very pointless, Zuko. Well, to put it simply, I didn't realize there was a limit Shocking Grasp could be used before it fried his brain. You do have to understand, they're a lot weaker than we are. I tend to forget. Just promise me you will be more careful in the future. Really? I gave him a proper burial, don't worry. Well, I would like to at least go over so I can say some blessings over it. Well, As Tommy goes in the direction of that. where Zuko supposedly buried it. There is a bit of a disturbed ground mound with a uh, stone. Then, because I, uh, because uh, Tommy is not smart enough to be able to get past his deception, he is going to just simply say some prayers over it, going. Rest in peace. Though you did not get a chance to redeem yourself today, we will tomorrow. In the next night. Pray that you are not a copy pump. Amen. As he kind of returns back after saying his due diligence. Zuko, you have really got to work on your murder habits. Indeed, I suppose. It was a genuine accident. Well, I they were terrorists, so to I kill can't him. be completely mad. Well, everyone does deserve a chance to be redeemed, don't you think? Zuko so shrugs. Yeah, just because I really want to, Tommy's gonna roll Persuasion, only because I want Zuko to feel really bad. Not as a character, but as a person in real life. <laughs> yes. Oh god, do I have to, can I roll anything to oppose it? Uh, um, to I, I would say since this is just, um, Tommy trying to just kind of, like, give you, like, just kind of trying to be Tommy to you, I would say nothing to oppose. It's just how you choose to react to how good the roll is. Uh, just a 15, so this is actually one of Tommy's, like, lesser speeches in comparison. I think he, like, the, the conflict of it being one of his friends who did it is, like, not as strong as it normally would be. So, 15. Yeah, no, I understand. I definitely. Zuko just kind of grinned for like one second, but then like got his usual neutral expression. Okay, let's go bring the rest of these guys to get turned in so that way we can prevent any more domestic terrorist attacks. Indeed. Eh. <sighs> when did growing up get so hard? It's an enigma how you can even quote unquote grow up. More of an enigma trying to figure out how you guys use the bathroom. Seriously, how does that work? It just does. I do not know, and I still never will. Some things are better left unsaid. Hey, Tuka, what's it like having a. Having a. <laughs> I'm sorry, I broke character the minute you used them. It's a useful tool! <laughs> it's so good! I only use it once in a while, I promise not to abuse it, but yeah, just for the sake of comedy, Tommy asks what's it like having a penis. <laughs> <laughs> um... Nice, I guess? Zuko's just kind of trying to keep his eye on his book to try and avoid the conversation. 
Well, you can tell me about it later. Let's get these people over before they wake up and I have to have Bing Bong knock Indeed, them out. Indeed, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go help these people. Hey, which one did I kick? Hey, which one suffered testicular torsion? I forget. Oh, no! That would... I I that would have been... <laughs> I think that would have been the big boss. <laughs> you deserve it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I cannot believe Tommy broke someone's nuts. And the testicular torsion is worse. That is where the way that it's kind of wired together basically twists who in the direction the wrong way. Okay, moving on from that topic. <laughs> but but Tom but Tommy did having a horse kick a man in the balls is a lot closer to breaking his balls. Let's be honest. Yeah, that twists them in all sorts of ways. <laughs> But yeah, uh, you all make your way back to the city uh, without any issue, so I'll bring you all over there. Uh, there's the map. <sighs> we can get off this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep this amazing ambiance music because I like it for Antechni. Indeed. I'll, I'll even link it for you guys so you can listen because it's just really works. All oh, right, were we still in the capital city before uh yes. meeting up with the sister? Uh yes. You're still in the capital I think city. We're doing this that we already did the side quest. You've done and the I side like quest it. and now Zuko, you can go to the priestess. Um with I presume you're going to be taking uh how how are you proving that you did the job? Is it going to Bring in the people. Are we, gonna, are we bringing in that one live wire, Wyvern? I think we are. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. We didn't that. have a card. Yeah. So, uh, the, the Wyvern is... Wire. you. The, the cage is very heavy duty. You, uh, I would say... Make me a... Sur someone make me a survival check to see if you can take... You can carry the Wyvern on the cart or drag it behind the cart. Uh, my survival is plus two. Anyone have any better stats for that? I plus two too, so I can get help actions. You get advantage. Got it. Uh, what about oh, Presley? Presley? Presley, are you still alive? Presley. I think Presley. he's on. I think he's on the train. Are you muted, so Presley? Are you trained? <laughs> At this point, someone roll survival. I don't. I don't think Arkron's gonna have Got the it. best survival. I think. I think he's decent, but I think Zuko's gonna have the best. All right. So uh, there's advantage, right? Yep. Because I'm giving you the help uh -huh. action. This stuff. Twenty-one. Uh, does Lima have proficiency in the help action? Yeah. Okay. They then you can use the help action. Twenty-one. I would say it'll slow you down, so it's gonna take you until sundown to get to back to the city. But you are able to bring mm -hmm. the wyvern. And as, as you're bringing it through the city, people are looking at it in awe. Yeah, a robo horsey, a tiny robot paladin, a literal lesser god, basically. Oh, no, 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 Lima is invisibly a lesser idol. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, but, like, I'm just imagining in Tommy's head, he's going, you really attract a lot of heads whenever we're going to town. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> I know I am made of metal, but like some days we just go extra. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Do you think so it's the wrong? kind of parks the uh, wyvern like a bit outside the church and just kind of knocks on the church door. Do you think it's the robes? Do you think people stare because of the robes, or is it because like we're we got like and as Tommy just points at Archon, like extremely jacked people. Uh, so for, for Zuko, there actually is no door to knock on. They're they're like ancient Greek temples, so they're very open. So there, okay, there's no door it. to knock on, but you do see the hi, the priestess you were talking to. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. it's a pleasure to see you again. Uh, take indeed. it, the job I is done. To, uh, indeed, and we brought a bit of evidence for the whole thing as we found one of the pests alive still in a cage. 
Very well then. As he uh, as he points to the wyvern that's like still in the cage, being carried by the cart. Very well. Good like, job. Like, as this is happening, I believe it's more the fact that we are able to do stuff that most people don't dream of at times. You know. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, are... did the guy have any insignias or whatever? The groups have any insignias or whatever on their person? A symbol of a golden crown over a shield and sword. I just take one of their insignias and just hand it over to the priestess. I have never seen this symbol before. Time to territories. Apparently, I... might, might have been terrorism activity. I, I believe I know oh, what it's... And well, from how far you that, guys are I'd like to claim the reward right. that was promised. Uh, yes, yes. And she will say something in Celestial, and then place her hands uh, on your cheeks, and you will feel a surge of energy rushing through you as Remove Curse is cast, and the Chaos is removed. You're free! <laughs> yes! Anyways, you could just kind of just smile. So, yeah. Apparently, there is. Uh, yeah. So I must Jack ask, what do we do with the wyvern? I'm sure that the gladiators can find a use for it. True. But, uh, Looks also, to Archon uh, with a smile. But uh, also, apparently, it's a dragon lord, and. It's probably a good idea to start preparing for a massive battle eventually. Or at the very least, you might want to bolster your defenses towards the site in the direction of the territories. And yeah. also well, I, I'm no leader of the city. I'm just a religious leader of this temple, but I will take it up with the council. Thank you. Thank you. Zuko Thank gives you. a bow to the priestess and he goes, I must be off. Thank you again for your help. Oh yeah, do you guys know where the Nerex Guard Barracks is? Uh, we have a couple people we also have to throw in there. Points over at yeah. the idiots. Uh, I Zuko guess. just kind of leaves the group for a second. Uh, she will she will point you in the direction, and for sake of expediency, you drop them off. Yeah, I believe Archron would suggest to them, obviously, to have them fight in the gladiatorial pits, basically. Yeah. Yeah. For the sake of irony, um, have them fight the wyvern they were grabbing. I would say you are each going to be rewarded, uh, except for Zuko, because you got your reward in the uh, yeah. in the form of a spell. Uh, each going to be rewarded two hundred and fifty gold. Two hundred fifty gold. Okay. Fifty for taking care of the wyvern issue, and another two hundred for discovering terrorism plot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, That's crap, did I not? Wait, how much silver? Wait, crap, uh, how much gold? Oh wait, how much, uh... Oh wait, no, wait, yeah, I did. Okay, you you I donated did. a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, I forgot, I mixed up my silver with my gold, and I thought I was a lot more. How much did I donate? Because I'm at 1 in 49 at the moment, and you, I'm adding... You donated something like 800 gold. Okay, so that was right. So we got two what? You got two fifty. Tommy does not wish to take the money as he was doing a good deed. Would you prefer another reward then? Just the continued service of helping the lords. Very well. We've I'm already just... compensated you for your generous donations. So, so or, just, perhaps I'm... I could... It, it will not be as powerful as a spell as your companion received, but I could give you another one. Blessings. I would accept it with honor. Um, very well. Uh, is there any sort of milestone you are coming to? Translation in English? Uh, the translation is that she's meaning to cast the ceremony spell, but she would not know that, um, for you, it would be coming of age. 
Yeah, technically that would be the best. It probably won't last long, but yeah. Well, I have recently grown. Very well. Physically and mentally. So you will be affected by the coming of age effect. For the next 24 hours, whenever the target makes an ability check, it can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the ability check. It's uh, like guidance, but balanced. And you it's... will also be given a vial of holy water. Oh. Oh boy. Glad Fare thee well, young master Tinker Toy. Fare thee well, priestess. Zuko heads to the alleyways. Roll me a d100. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Nothing happens out of the if you, unusual you being in an alleyway. Hmm. I look around for a criminal courier. A uh, criminal courier? Mm -hmm. I would say that's an investigation check. Yes. Plus three. Nine. No. You do not find anyone. <laughs> hey, these are some empty alleyways because everyone's on vacation or something. It, it's less that they're empty alleyways and more of you are an unknown to any criminals in this area, and you're you are a spy, and so you have no you you know how your meetings with your handler work. You have no idea how anyone else's meetings with their handler is gonna work. So you you don't know if there is another spy in the city. You don't know if there's a handler in the city. You don't know how they meet up if they are here. I didn't know I can make holy water. Now you know. Huh. I didn't know Paladin Zuko just kind of goes to rejoin the party looking a little perplexed. Right. So, Lima's going to flick open their pocket to see what time it is. It is. You don't even need to do that because the sun is setting. The time is very late. Okay, good enough. Up. Holy water, Tommy now realize has come to the realization of wait a minute. Can't make that dough. <laughs> uh, as a reminder, Lima, you have the wyvern skin being dried, correct? Correct. It's been turned into leather right now. Alright. Um that is going to take a week if you all would like to stay here for that long. That's what we plan to do. And this was the second day, and the second day we did this. We have technically five days left here. Uh, actually, because the a week is nine days long in Librasum, ah. you have seven days left. Good enough. So which seven days. is Zuko's a work week. going to continue pursuing his lead. Uh, I would say, give me, you can all give me a downtime activity. I would, would I like be to able to apply holy water onto a weapon to give it the properties of holy water for a single attack like poison? I believe that's how holy water kind of works, anyway. Yeah, because most of the time it just says you can just splash it at a creature within five feet or throw it up to twenty feet. I I would I I allow applying holy water to a weapon. Nice. Okay, I think uh, Tommy's gonna actually start making some holy water. All right. So you are taking craft action. You're taking the yes. the craft activity. Yes. All right. Uh, I would say you can just get you can get water from the river and from any wells, so you you don't even need to to expend any money for this. Well, except for the required amount. Uh, not even the required amount because you can just get the water for free from the river. Oh no no no! It actually caught. Oh no! I was looking under holy water. Turns out, actually, to do it, it does require at least twenty-five gold worth of silver. Uh, I, not even that because you can. Or hold on, let me look at ceremony. 
gives us 25 gold worth of powdered silver and requires the caster to expend a first level spell spot. Oh. And it takes about an hour to perform. Okay, but you will only need that 25 gold worth of powdered silver and you can, uh, it does not consume anything. So, it does not consume. Hooray! I forget that sometimes that bullshit clause exists. It's beautiful. Uh, I but, will uh, say there is a chance that you will make more holy water than you can carry on the cart or even in Lima's bag, since it's basically you're just casting over and over ceremony. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can technically do that. So, um... um... Well, let, let's finish up with Andrew's thing first. Yeah, yeah, fair. I just, okay, well, sorry. Uh, uh, how, how much holy water do you want to make, I guess? A reasonable amount. Uh, so we'll say bucket's worth? Yeah, bucket's worth of holy water. Alright, you yeah, make a bucket's... Like first day, you make a bucket's worth of holy water. Question. How much is a bucket's worth? Okay, uh, I'll do math conversions. Let Lima do their thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> Lima, do you have anything you want to do? I'm probably going to start doing more study for the crafting I want to do eventually. Like, building the blueprints for the two things that I want to plan out to eventually make. Alright, so you are planning. I would say, give me an Arcana check to see how well you can plan this. Oh, boy. 16! <laughs> Alright, uh, DM me any ideas you want to do for uh, for your plan. I've mentioned it before to you. Uh, DM it to me again. <laughs> Just so okay, we can... we'll do. Uh, Zuko, any uh, plans you have for the week? I wish to follow my lead on finding my sister. Uh, yeah, the, the fight, your sister was invited to Arkron's hometown, not this city. Um, I guess I'll just attract the locals with a performance. All right, we will count that and as a work week. Yep. So, should I, how many rolls do I have to make? Uh, give me. Day? Uh, give me performance. Performance one, go. Sixteen. Sixteen. You get a decent amount of money. I would say you're able to provide for your stay and for the supplies. So, how much do I have? Do I have any left from a profit? Uh, I would. I would say you have. Three silver profit if you want to get supplies for the trip. Um, what supplies would I need? You would need food and uh, water for you, Lima. Um, for you, Lima, Arkron, and uh, Frederick. I know what I want to do on my second day now. Yes. I wish to approach Frederick. So wait, uh, this is everything for an entire week? Yes. Hmm. That this will be the, this will cover your stay for the week and then supplies for the journey to Arkron's hometown. But I would just add multiple silver. You would add three silver as um as profit. I Not wish it. to I wish to gift Frederick some things to actually help. Him. I guess I'll take it. I will also say, Lima, you can have the potions and spell scroll identified. I'll do that um like near the end of the week before yeah. we head out. Uh what is Tommy approaching Frederick about? Uh first Tommy's gonna examine how Frederick's doing. I'm doing as well as you can after facing death. Uh, three silver? Three silver. Uh, right. back to a little bit of what I wanted to help out with. 
Oh? Seeing as I wa uh, wasn't too tall like you for, for a while, I thought maybe these would help out since I've gotten some new stuff. As Tommy hands over a fold, a neatly folded pile of chain mail over a shield. I know your master would prefer you to learn basic to hand to hand combat, but until then, I thought it would be helpful to give you something to at least make it feel a bit more safer. Thank you. I'll I I'll ask him about it. Thank you. No problem. Uh, also, sorry for speaking for you, Presley, but I know you're going to at least try to train Frederick, so. Oh, yeah, it is the most predictable pattern for him, usually. After 23! Second, only beating the shit out of something. Uh, yep, that is that is a success. So Frederick gets another stat point in Constitution. Yay! A little bit hardier. How many more? Let's see. How many more days do we have? Of things or, oh no! Nope. Never mind. Because uh, he already had 15 in Constitution and Strength. It means that he is a 16 in Strength. And next time there's a, a successful trading check, he will start taking sidekick levels. Ooh. Seeing as probably Presley needs time to recuperate as plot convenience for the sake of description, if he during the time I presume since Arkron has been a bit busy with trying to train Frederick and also recuperating, maybe I can try help to, uh, teaching him. Uh, you're going to spend the rest of your week on the training? Yeah, I want to help out. Alright, uh, that would be a persuasion check using your primary stat, which I believe for you is charisma. Mm-hmm. Like me. Hello! Basically, I'm more or less encouraging him. I'm, Presley's been teaching him how to physically get stronger. I'm going to try to help both the spirits have the confidence to fight in battle. Alright. And, mm -hmm. if it's permissible, I would like the channel divinity to give him all the strength and all the encouragement that he can get. You can channel divinity. This will be at disadvantage. And oh, I respect I respect him as a person, so I'm not going to use friendship on him. Yeah. I presume the disadvantage is just because I'm because not you are not his primary instructor. I also wish to then de uh, disband the disadvantage with my abilities to fix order. Uh, I would say, since it's an extended period of time, I will n you and uh, restore balance is a single action. Um, Very well. I will. But you could use luck, and you could use guidance. That would be great then. Guidance, luck, and guidance, luck, and guidance. Okay, so first I need to find where is my thingies. As I will treat it as I cannot use Channel Divinity then for the rest of, until I take a short rest that later day, as I will probably have been using it throughout the week. One sec. So, Question okay. DM. Yes, Richard? Would my patron notice the Gios at all? Uh, you would not know whether or not your patron noticed. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, 26. 26, that's a success. Which stat are you boosting for Frederick? I'm helping him train to be a warrior, so I'm trying to help him to, uh, begin his official combat training. Uh, you can boost constitution up to a 16, or you can start boosting dex up from a 10. Dex. Dex. Oh, uh, dex. I would do dex, but the problem is... Er, I am not yeah. dexterous, so it feels unfitting, as my shtick is actually constitution. Alright, so you're I boosting his con. Yep. In order it's to like, be able to survive in combat, you have to be able to treat it Hey, if any situation is a life or death situation. In other words, be be ready for anything. 
Alright, and I will hold off on giving him shield and armor until uh, Presley's say so about it. Yeah. So, should I do another roll for the study and planning, or is that roll good enough? For the that roll was good enough. Does anyone have anything else for the week? I'll, I'll say when Presley's available, we can take care of what he did. Yeah. Uh, mine's the end of the week. I'm going to pick up the leather and also do the things like put the, figure out what the potions and the scroll was. All right. Nothing that much. is going to cost you about, I'd say, uh, eight silver to have all of them. Or no, because it's four, four five, uh... Yeah, eight, eight silver to have them all identified. All three of the reddish potions are potions of healing. The grayish purplish one is a potion of climbing. And the scroll is a scroll of detect poison and disease. So, poison. So three are healing, right? Yes. Heal. Ray is climbing. Does my turtle keep trying to climb on the walls like Spider Man? <laughs> Stop using the bush as leverage! It's smart. Yeah. What? Oh, no. Alright. Um, does anyone else have anything they want to do? Is there anything else? The magic shop. Oh, alright. What are you looking for at the magic shop? What is there to find? Ah, uh, that would be Arcana and Investigation. I'm gonna start with Arcana because that's my stronger stat. Yep. Oh, 21. 21. You will know every what every item in the store is. You can, if you roll a good enough investigation, you can search up to uh, very rare because the store will not stock legendary or artifacts. So rolling investigation plus three. Natural twenty. Yep, you can search for any very rare or uh, more common magical item in the shop. What would you recommend? I. I'm just gonna go to the cop shop, keep him going. Uh, I'm trying to find something good for my long trip. Any recommendations? Well, perhaps, uh, let me look up some recommendations. <laughs> I will also take any recommendations from the other two players if you want to help out. Sure thing, I'll put up, like, D&D Beyond's, like, magic items real quick. And you said you're looking for what type of magical item? Uh, anything to help with the trip. Hmm. Go with exploration, because that's going to be good for exploration. Trying to find where the magic item shop was again. Uh, no, that's probably not a good idea. Room of Flying is only one person. Carpet of Flying might be useful for multiple people, but we still already have a card. We know we're near water sources, so a folding boat is useless. So very rare? You can search up to very oh. rare, correct. Alright, I'm trying to find if I can filter any. Uh, there but... is the bag of bounty, which can create... Um, which can create food and water for you. 
How much? That would be, uh, Andrew, what's the roll for price for uncommon items? Uh, let's see. It should still be under, I think, the usual sections that we have it. Uh, let's see. Is it D&D talk or was it Thunderdome? It would be D&D talk. Uh, common items usually go for... Uh, un uncommon. Uncommon. D6 times 100. All right. That would be 500 gold for the one we have available. However, it is a very useful item for any sort of trip, as it will provide enough nourishment for the... It can create three meals a day. I was going to say, we could get a, we could get someone to craft a Contra Teleportation. Sorry, I'm trying to find uh, something for Warlock class. Uh, for Warlock class, you already have basically what you would need covered with your... Um, uh, dark with, Amulet? Not not even the Dark Amulet, your, um, your Rod of the Pact Keeper. God, I don't know what I... I know there's something I could use, but I don't know what I would need. Uh, is, there a particular, is there a particular type of strategy you like deploying? Mm. You like using deception a lot, right? And I'll look for something that helps with that. Be a cloak of displacement. What does that do? Uh, it gives people disadvantage on any attack roll against you. You see, it's like near, it's like near image, but if it's a cloak. Okay. Well, okay. How about a cloak of displacement? Yeah, it's a rare item, and it is known for being... It's basically what it does is it projects an illusion that makes you appear to be standing in a place near you than your actual location. It's basically blur, but with a flavor of mirror image. So yeah, Joe, you are right on that. A cloak of displacement as a rare item would be 3,000. Ooh, yeah, no. That's the disappearance, an ever-smoking bottle... Potions of Invisibility. Mind sh Ring of Mind Shielding. Uh, are you picking up the... R Richard, just for confirmation, are you picking up the um, the Bag of Bounty? No, I'm not yet. I don't think I have enough to afford it. Cloak of you, the Bag is a You were rewarded... Effect. Each of you were rewarded 250 gold, and given that this oh, would help the party... I was I thought I didn't get it, because remember I was getting the oh, first thing. Oh, that's correct. That is correct. I only, I only have, have 473. Uh, I, I would say, I would say instead you're rewarded uh, 200 gold because you stopped the wyverns, but there is still the terrorist stuff. Terror. Yeah, the and terrorism. 200. Okay, and adding. since, and since this is um, for helping the party, I am sure that Lima or Arkrom would be willing to help you with the price. Yeah, I actually have. A, uh, I actually do have a spell for this, actually. No, 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 no. I have two spells. What are you trying? I, um, I want to sell back because I already used all the curse book. I want to give it back, but with a special thing added. Distort value? Distort value. All right. Oh, so read me distort value. What does it do? Because uh, for any odd things that I was hoping to sell, oh, yeah, I still have a scimitar that I wanted to sell, but I never got the chance to. Uh, scimitar so would make you uh, two gold, five silver. Um, so basically, if I need to squeeze a few more gold pieces out of immersion as a the, the store has to go, cast spell on an object more than no more than one foot. Okay, never mind. A scimitar is more than one foot. You can do it on the book, though. Doubling the object's perceived value by adding illusory flourishes and polish, or reducing its perceived value by half the help of illusory scratches and all that. But they must make an investigation against my DC if they want to try and figure out the distortion. All right. I'll give them uh, this yeah. modifier. Uh, they fail, and they buy the book off of you for seven gold. 
And the scimitar for yeah. two gold, five silver. So I will get rid of those from my inventory. So one second. Uh, I will get rid of the scimitar. I'll get rid of it. Put the remove on the inventory. Yeah, I'm at. I'm on the inventory. If you want, you can get robe of the Ser robe of serpents. Mm, what does that do? A robe of serp. Herpins is a stylishly silk garment that is popular amongst wealthy nobles and retired assassins. The robe is emblazoned in 1d4 plus 3 stylized serpents, all brightly colored. As a bonus action on your turn, you can transform one of the robe serpents into a giant poisonous snake. The snake instantly falls from the robe, slithers onto an unoccupied space next to you, and acts it on your initiative count. The snake can tell friendly creatures from hostile ones and attacks the latter. The How much gold do I get for the book? After you got uh, in in total between the book and the sword, you get um, nine gold, five silver. Awesome. It's basically a rule. Yeah. Just does. Stuff. Okay, backpack. Where did I, I leave the uh, curse book? I think it's in other possessions. I can't look at Serpent's Fang or Serpent's Scale Armor because it's locked behind the Candlekeep Mysteries. Darn you. Yep. You can get a Dagger of Venom. I already got two daggers. But do they have plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls and also allow you to coat the blade immediately in black poison? I, I will say that if you, you take... I'll ask, is there anything for the bard, since I am actually going into bard mode? Uh, if uh, you could get um, the drum of the rhythm keeper, which will um, get you bardic inspiration back. However, I will say uh, um, that if you get the bag of bounty, you do not have to buy supplies anymore. It will create enough yeah, for I, all of you. That one very much is going to outweigh the cost of the other one so how much 500 500 i cast friendship oh uh, i'm suggestion so all right you cast friendship you have advantage on you have advantage Wait, on no, checks to cast suggestion I don't what are you suggesting friendship. I was going to suggest lower the price a little more. I could do 400. I'm going to diplomacy check, persuasion check with the set extra bonus Wait. to get him to percent persuade it more. Uh, yeah, yes, Presley. Persuasion checks, I believe. Uh, Presley yeah, wants to. Bonus. Presley wants to say something. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say. Archon seeing Zuko do this whole farce and shit, and this is like, you are just way too much, and just drops the money on the fucking table. Uh, <laughs> are, are you are you paying the difference, or are you just paying for the? Are, are you paying for the difference, or are you just paying for the bag yourself fully? Archon. I'm. I'm 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 paying the price that he said it was. Okay, so you're paying uh the oh, five hundred or the four hundred. I'll pay it. I'll pay it. <laughs> don't don't rob me of <laughs> He's robbing you by being generous. No. Uh, uh Presley, just for clarification. Kind of like a little aghast at what our project put on the table, just like look I had like are you serious? For, for clarification, the full price or the negotiated price of 400? I take the negotiated, negotiated. please. I, I, okay. I don't... So, 400 has been paid and you have a bag of bounty. I like how Richard is just the road. i just give the money. I'll just give the same amount to Arkron, so I'll take it out of my inventory to 400, the 400 out of my inventory. Zuko I'll remove bad. 400 gold. Right. Zuko's just like, ah, I didn't need your help. Just take this. Uh, beyond training Frederick, is there anything Arkham wants to do over the week? Um, 
I mean, there's not really much else there is to do inside this area. You can do, uh, you results? can do matches in the arena. I could. Oh yeah, that did actually remind me of a question that we were going to ask you. Tommy has offered his old chainmail and shield to Frederick to help him feel safer and be able to actually defend himself. Would you permit it? Um, yeah. Alright. Frederick um, now he has AC! And Frederick also has an item in case if they do go down, they'll be stabilized as well, thanks to Lima. All besides, right. besides training Frederick, yeah, Archon would just be cranking out fights in the arena. Alright, so, um, as usual, um, I need... Right, so you didn't actually remove the gold for the bag, did you? Because I just removed gold from mine. No, I haven't. Okay, good. I just to say, um, I paid you back for just because I was like, no. so uh, as as usual, um, I'm gonna need athletics. Uh, that uh, I would say yes, you can get advantage from Rage on. Acrobatics. Oh, you, back, you guys, I gotta go check something. Yep. Uh, acrobatics, and then a Constitution check that has a bonus equal to a roll of your largest hit die, D12. Give me a second. And I will set the DCs for you. Alright. Why do you do this? You know how some people swim laps around the pool? My turtle does it around his tank. <laughs> Alright, DCs have been set. Uh, I'll say you can use... I'll say you get one reroll for each because of... Um, uh, 20 does not make it, but you do have a reroll, because inspiration every day. <laughs> 27 makes it! Cool. One success. Let's see the others! Um... This is technically an effect I can see, correct? Uh... For... It's basically... Like... I uh, It's acrobatics, not a dexterity save, so I would say that a feature does not count. Danger sense does not count, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, that's just a saving throw, my bad. Please happen. Please happen. Hey, we're all 20? trying to get as much advantage as we get. And then you said a con save plus a d12? Yes. Why do you do this in one play? Um... It's your d12. Ooh. But that is three successes. Okay. So you get 200 gold. And okay, now we have four chances for complications. All right. oh, oh. Shit goes wrong. On a one for each of you, there will be a complication, starting with Tommy. Of course. <laughs> How? <laughs> is this bad or good? Either case, it's gonna be fun. Tommy, I need a D6. Oh boy. Let's do that D6. <laughs> Four. Four. Um. <laughs> Tommy, as you're doing this, a, a noble man comes up to you. That's holy water, correct? Uh, yes. It is. What price would you be willing to sell it for? All donations shall a, do a, a decent donation to the Church of the Holy Spark and the Blessed Light. Hmm. Very well. 
and he will buy your bucket of holy water, leading you to make another, but you can just make another one, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that was probably the best complication for Tommy! <laughs> Tommy came out of that complication with a benefit! No, <laughs> no <Yeah>. consequences! <laughs> Next up, we're gonna go to Zuko. Three, no complication. Lima? Eight, no complication. And finally, Arkron. Another one! Oh, Another no. complication. Oh no! Wait. Okay, my brain. Okay, do I have to write anything down for that, or do it, uh, does it just solve itself in the background? It solved itself in the background! <laughs> I love my patrons! Uh, Arkron, I need a d6 rolled. Alright. Oh boy. A six? Six. You accidentally deliver a near fated wound to a foe. Oh. Ooh. Oh. I'm guessing uh, in one. I'm guessing in the arena. Yes. I. I'm guessing like. I was getting a little too into it, and then I remembered like just barely winning that fucking match, and I'm just like. And I just l lay my fist just directly straight into somebody's ribs and just ends up just like breaking like a couple. Yeah. Uh, the, he... Arkron is sorry about it and he yeah. will pay for medical expenses. <laughs> <laughs> I can help with medical expenses. Yeah, th this is something because there's, there's a whole lot of fighting here. Like, it's one of the main centers. Um... Of entertainment, yeah. like people are used to these types of accidents. I would say, uh, for this, I would say <laughs> 20 silver as medical expenses. 20 silver? Question Can I use my distort value to help reduce it or something? What no. you could do instead is actually heal the person, <laughs> and that way it's no that. money. So, yeah, you I can totally do that. You heal the person, and everything's good. Resource management! <laughs> but I was gonna use a heal check, but I guess because bard healing, sure. Yeah. Heal up your... you are weird, Philip. <laughs> Philip? Uh, the turtle! Like tortoise in real life, he, he, he likes walking you in circles. You have a tortoise? Around. It's a baby tortoise. He, he's kind really? of a derp. He likes to climb on the walls using bushes as leverage so he can climb on them like Spider-Man. <laughs> God, I, I, I wish I could have a torso, man. No, it's just gonna outlive me straight up. Leave it to yeah. someone in your will. Easy. <laughs> yeah, but I have to leave a oh, note saying, I... good luck, kids. <laughs> it's your problem now. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, the week is over. If anyone would like to do anything more on the week, or uh, uh, would, would anyone like another work day? Yeah. I can't make um, another work day. You cannot. I I already rolled the training check for Frederick, and he is boosted up. Tommy got a training check in, and Frederick is now 16 in both strength and constitution. Nice. Tommy taught him not to have uh, fear death and to embrace his inner strength. I would... yeah. His constitution. <laughs> uh, does anyone have any other businesses for the rest of the week in this city, or will you be leaving here? Uh, I'm leaving. I'm. I'm. Arkhan has nothing. Oh, oh no! I'm gonna try forgot and squeeze more value before, out of that right? other stuff, but. Our card had to ruin it. So, uh. Never mind, nothing changed. <laughs> Actually, I like to try to quickly buy some Tinker's tools. Some what, what type of tools? Tinker's. Those would be 50 gold. What, uh, what was that, uh. What was that, uh. Richard? I was saying, I was gonna try to squeeze more money out of trying to lower the price of that thing, but I our card had to ruin it. <laughs> Arkron's reasoning? Jesus, you take too long to shop. Uh, also, Zuko, since you, uh, since you now have the bag of bounty, instead, you will, your profit from the performance will be, um, 
brain trying to calculate it. I'll, I'll say 10 gold, and instead you just have supplies for the horse for the rest of the way. So do I get an extra 10 gold? Uh, you Instead of the 3 silver, it's 10 gold. So I'll take away 3 silver. And I will add 10 gold. I'm just thinking, there we go. Uh, how much money I've donated to the churches at this point that I don't know fully what they're gonna do with it. <laughs> I've been pulling a Mansa Musa. Yes, you have. <laughs> but for mm. churches, <laughs> at least I'm not building a pool in the middle of the desert. <laughs> yeah, true. For my wife. All right. Uh, will you guys be heading out at the end of the week? We should be. Yeah. The question is now, do we continue on with the yeah. worst of thing of going to the hometown, or are we going to the person that will train our tron? Question. That is up to Archon, since both pertain him. So, yeah. the the location of the person who will train Archon is over here. This mountain. Which one? The hometown is about here. Ah. The, the hometown is this hill. Um, this hill is the landmark, and then okay. this mountain is the trainer. So we can go to here for a small break, then we go over here, then. Gotcha. It would allow us to get... Hey, it would oh, that's an interesting idea problem. for uh, something next time. I was looking at a uh, deception and whatnot. <sighs> I was looking at the deck of illusions. Maybe Ooh, that would be good. Good. Later on magic so we move so Archon do you want to immediately go to this or go to the trainer then go to here yeah, go to what, what? it you... take us one extra travel block so honestly it's not that bad of an idea yeah mm. but dark. Zuko wants to go I mean Zuko wants to see his sister now yeah yeah, I guess we can go up here later on then, hopefully. So, two. It's all dependent on. Oh, oh yeah, honestly. right, because that was discussed. Did anyone um, speak to someone about sending services over to um, Boxkilf? About the. Uh, the um, the terrorists. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Tommy yeah. would feel like by national party he has to. Yeah, I, exactly. I, I would say that would also be covered as your reward. Okay, good. So, Boss so, knows the person who's starting this now. Good yes. Enough. Uh, the message you would have gotten back, uh, who, who did you, well, I would say it would be, it would have been sent to the head of the temp, the head of the Blessed Lights worship in Box Hill. And the message you get back would be um, that the Archmages had received um, emissaries of this same Dragon Lord. We, they will be cautious in the future. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So yeah, now you all can set out. Dang, I should have gotten glamoured studded armor. Uh, which direction are you heading first? Are you heading to the hometown, or are you heading to the trainer? Um... Four. Well, if we all went to there, it would take one extra day of travel, but in exchange, we'd be closer to the water when traveling, allowing us actually maybe even be able to resupply better. And also, it would allow us the opportunity to get some extra training in ourselves. After all, we already kick ass. May as well try to see if maybe this is one of those weird roof training montage episodes. Training montage! <laughs> uh, training probably takes longer, actually, now that I think about it. So it's actually probably good to go to the hometown, then go over to the training. Well, true. Cool. I guess in the end, it all depends on how long, uh, how long it takes for us to get there. In that case, then definitely have the Zuko. 
Okay. It is uh, all the same to you all. I would like to keep going on to our destination. I haven't really spoken to my sister in some time. I'm a bit anxious. Fair enough. And so we go. That's fair. So we go to, the, go to the hometown first, and then after everything is settled, we go to the I mountain. I haven't really seen her in a comparable amount of time. To how long did Tommy not see their parents? Andrew? <laughs> Andrew left. Oh. I believe it was something like a year for Tommy. Actually, no. Probably at least more than probably five years. Yeah. As everybody's doing this, like, Lima's probably tinkering around with the tools they got with the proper watch and the clockwork amulet just to kind of see how like the gears inside work not really like destroying it just looking around more or less with the tools you peek open into your pocket watch and you do not see any gears or anything inside it anymore you just see pure magical swirling energy and it starts to leak out as you open it closes it back up there used to be gears in there. Used to. Huh. Andrew said he'd be right back. <laughs> well, not gears anymore. Yeah. These two <sighs> gears turn into magic. Which is a neat thing, actually, you know, think about it. Yeah. Quite yeah. fancy. <laughs> Okay, Tommy's done praying. Tommy's done praying? Uh, how, how long had it been since Tommy saw his parents? Ooh, that is toughy. I, I said probably about a year. Wow. I forgot how long time passes in this and how long it took to travel from place to place. Well, it, it, it was like for your backstory before you had met up with your father again. Uh, at least for mom, that definitely might have been at least around a year, for sure. Dad, more recent than others. Oh. Yeah, so... Oh, do you want to realize I wish I had? Hmm. Mom is probably anxious a to... A lot of security. I mean, you can try and get that. I mean, it's probably going to cost a butt ton, so... Eh. I just like it because it just has such a weird uh, healing effect. Like, literally, uh, Zuko's just like, I need a vacation. Hold that rod of security. Are you just confused? What do you mean vacation? We need a vacation. Activates rod of security. Everyone ends up on a beach episode. Let me look up that's the... Literally what it does. That's literally what it does. <laughs> The Rod of Security is a beach episode in an item. <laughs> that is a very yeah, rare item, so it is going to cost multiple thousands of gold. I know, it's, I probably won't ever be able to afford it, but God, it'd be so funny if I found one just to be like, yeah, I need this. Zuko, why do you have that rod? Beach episode time. Zuko, no! <laughs> it's like... Uh, it's like the beach episode equivalent of... Zuko, we're having this some time. We're having our adventure now. I think we need a beach vacation. I'm tired. It <laughs> just hits the rod and everyone teleports. <laughs> it matter it's like one of Lima's wild uh, magic surges as a spontaneous interdimensional beach episode. Alright, so shall we proceed on through the travel yes. sequences? Yes, yeah. I'm good. I don't have to pay for supplies anymore, thank god. You all can move your token to the hex you are going to. Um, I'm just gonna say, uh, I guess wherever the heck everyone else is going. Uh, let's see. Depends. Do we want to be slightly closer to a mountain or a hill? And uh, I, I don't. I think we get a long rest when we arrive or something. You you have multiple long rests in between each hex. I'm so you don't going need to... to cast uh, the Unseen Servant to guide the card again. Yep. 
because it's oddly enough very useful. And you also get short rests on the cart, so you can just always have the Unseen Servant piloting the cart. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so... It just look like they're guiding it, but they can just, like, sit there. Are, is it this hex or this hex you're moving to? Uh, I'm just moving with where the, where the rest of the party is going. Yep, that, and so I'm asking the, the party in general. I guess... Which way is closer to the place we want to go to to meet my sister? This direction is where you're meeting your sister. So, I'm going so over there. Probably better to go like down that way, then down here, then that way, because then it's three, it's at four. I just realized I can telepathically communicate with my horse. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. So yeah, uh, so are we, are we moving to this hex? Yes. Yes. Okay, you guys did have control of the token is why I was waiting for you guys. <laughs> oh no, I was waiting for someone to take the initiative. Ah. Fair. So yeah, well, uh, at that point... The hail of the drunkard. At that point, <laughs> we are going to be cutting to our encounter. Sorry. As you all travel along the road... Pop! Not you guys, sorry. Yeah. Uh, you're traveling along the road, and you see over here a watering hole. Hmm. Um, poison the water hole? Can I what is will... everyone's passive perceptions? Uh, 15, Twelve. I believe. 15? 12? Tommy and Zuko's? 16. Well, yeah. <sighs> Tommy and Arkron. You can both. You both kind of recognize something's up. At the water uh, hole? You don't hear anything. You don't see anything, but you can feel every now and then just a shake. A small shake. As we get closer to the area. I would like to use Sanctuary. Who are you casting Sanctuary on? Wait, fuck. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. It only targets one thing. Shit. Wait, one sec. Hold on. <clears throat> Damn it. I was think. Damn it. I thought I could use Sanctuary to, like, uh, kind of encompass us all. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. Wait, perfect. Tommy wishes to have everyone crowd around him as he casts Sanctuary. Because then he and a horse will be warded. Thus, <coughs> any attacks near them would at least minimize. As trying to attack any of you guys would also mean trying to attack me. Mm -hmm. I get you close enough to me. But very. All right. He would be confused as fuck on how to fight. All right. Uh, at that, you will then see from up atop the hill the source of the rumbling as a hydra. Five-headed, oh. starts lumbering its way towards the hole and slips down the hill into the water. Ooh. I will now roll a perception check for the Hydra. See if it spots you. And it engages combat. That's an 11. <coughs> uh, Tommy, roll stealth for Bing Bong. With disadvantage because he is carrying a cart. Bing Bong, Bing Bong, Bing Bong, Bing Bong, you got this! And if he fails, <laughs> guidance. Okay, so it's D20 plus one, nine, guidance, because it obviously he failed. Eleven, 
And I'm going to use luck because I'm afraid of the Hydra. <laughs> luck didn't help. And I use inspiration. Uh, I would say you cannot use inspiration for Bing Bong. Can I use luck is... again? Nope, you used luck once on the roll. So it both only gets us an eight. I would say it's yep. contested, so roll me a d20 for Bing Bong. Nineteen. All right, you have successfully ignored, uh, avoided the Hydra spotting you at this point, but unless you turn around, the Hydra will spot you all. Are those caught? Is this cover over here? Uh, what is covered? Are these like downhill or uphill? The these are downhill. So this is uphill, and so it goes down as you so get towards I use the Use a feature on the Hydra. What are you planning to use? Um, Fey presence to uh, either charm or frighten the Hydra into looking the other way. What is the distance of the Fey presence? Uh. 10 feet? Never mind. I don't want to go near it! Uh, how about this? I divert our cart. I suggest we divert our cart around the, our downhill onto the crappy <coughs> train. Uh, th th this is uphill. Ice. This is uphill. So you would, um, the, the, you're basically in a small, like, ravine. And um, I, uh, I will say, like, the Hydra is going to spot you no matter what, unless you turn around, which I will say would take you um, going back to Atheoi and then going around this hex. Uh, quick we... question. Uh, may I roll a history check to see how dangerous Hydras are? You may. Oh, boy. Plus zero. Here we go. I mean, I have some means to fight it if we have to, which I really want to avoid. Because I know that thing's probably really tough. Lima, you know that Hydras are decently dangerous, but you think you guys could take it. If we plan it carefully, we could take the Hydra. Keyword, I land it carefully. Well, I have I, a few I, tricks for it. Um, would I have advantage because of on, on a check for this? Because, it, like home area yeah you you've heard stories of hydras most of your life so you would have advantage on a history check we could try to zoom past it as best we can i have no preference um way. i have the means to fight it yeah jesus like i don't know why my rolls are so low at this moment all you know archon is what lima says sounds correct and and honestly kind of sounds Taking on a Hydra. <laughs> you know? You can probably add a, like, a mantle onto your title frames. You can put it right next to the Drake head. Tommy is inside the car. and says, I'm sure I could make a Hydra song if we do beat it. Tommy just looks at Frederick going, you ready? I'll stay we back. Should very, we should be very careful. Correct. Is it goes, just, uh, uh, at this point, I think Frederick's gonna board. step off of the cart. <laughs> I'll stay Please back. Go, help as well. uh, leave the cart here. We should go over that to it instead of it to us. We don't want the cart being destroyed. and want to make sure Frederick's safe. Okay, <coughs> you make a good point. Unfortunately. The Hydra's just kind of yeah. splashing in the water and rolling around in it and drinking. Wait, I have an idea. It, Sorry, sorry, but I'll, if, if you don't remove it from now, like, it makes safer travels for other people on this pathway. I think I have I, an idea. I have an idea how we can move it without killing it. Because I have killing. sanctuary up. Mm -hmm. I can try, I, I can get onto the backside of it and get its attention. That sounds like a horrible idea. Hey, get up on the Hydra's back. <laughs> well, think of it like this. If you guys are out oh, of sight... Guys, I have a plan. Just ignore me. I'm gonna need some extra magic energy to make sure it hits. 
Okay. I could huh. I could just cast Dissident Whispers or something to get it to move away, and then we just drive past it before the spell wears off. I would say that if you did Dissident Whispers, it would have to go into the hill walls, and it would not be able to climb up them. Yeah, well, it would move it away long enough for us to drive past it if we really wanted to avoid fighting it, but I don't necessarily disagree with fighting it either, so I'm going to leave that up to our... Kron. Do you want to fight the Hydra? Because I can take it or leave it. Well, it will take me an hour to write a whole song if you do end up wanting to wrestle a Hydra. Because I'll have to find something clever to say about a man wrestling a Hydra. This thing is two size categories larger than I am. I do not think I could wrestle with it. Wait, Tommy is trying to use his brain? Wait, fuck, no, I don't... Hold on. I'm pretty sure enlarged slash reduced person is not a cleric spell. Never mind. Oh god, you know what I just realized? What? I could... If I had the Wand of Wonder, I could accidentally turn someone huge. Yeah, I... That is a rare item, so... Yeah, I could have bought it, but I don't think I really use wands. I use rods, and I use weird stuff. Um... Shit. Like... Because, <clears throat> uh, like, the thing is, Archon, he would know what a Hydra is, but with that check, he's like, eh, this one seems kind of weak. You want to fight it? We can, but if things get too out of hand, we should stop and retreat. Exactly. I yeah. am fine oh, with like that. Common <clears throat> Those are like creatures that are more than humanoid. Can we try to wait it out then, I guess? Nah, I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> I if sure you waited out, the, I prepare the spell, uh, Dissident Whispers. If you, sure. if you prepare to cast the spell, you, you will, if you don't cast it within the six seconds, you waste the spell slot. So, uh, oh, actually, I'm just gonna... I'm just going to hear everyone kind of bicker and be like, alright. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go into desperation mode as I cast Dissident Whispers on the Hydra. And now I'm just gonna hop onto the horse, okay. Right. 60 feet. Hang on, let me let me check the distance. You have 120 feet between you and the Hydra. Uh, how fast can it move? You do not know. We will find out. I don't want to cast it. Never mind. I'm not preparing this spell. I just, I just thought about it. But I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not risking it. Let's see. Let's I was going to suggest I could run okay, it and sorry. then. Sorry, but if we try to wait for it, I'm pretty sure it will either head this direction or downward. Either way, it's a bad move. I'm just going to prepare a fireball. It's a cantrip. Okay. I don't waste anything. I'm just going to ready it as soon as it attacks us or charges this way. As in, I'm just going to hold it. All right. Fine. I'll trust you guys. Tommy prepare, uh, prepares to bless when everyone's ready. He's going to be right about here. And to prepare touch of limbo in case of the, the same scenario as well. Zuko. I'm gonna need all of you to roll me stealth checks against its passive perception. <laughs> I stealth all right, is plus three. Plus zero. Oh boy. Sixteen. Uh, that's yeah, I roll a five. I am, I am going Metal Gear Solid. I'm pretty sure my uh, my ceremony yeah, is over. Is there a inside the cart that's Wait, empty? hold on, hold on. Give me a second. I have an. I think I have something. But if, if mine fails, I can push past it. Yeah, uh, I have to ask. Do we have an empty barrel in the cart? You do not. But it does not matter because I want to jump in the empty barrel and roll past it. Because you all see one of the hydra's heads comes up. And a few of them looking in a lot of different directions. And one of them locks right on to Tommy and Lima. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to need to get... I think, uh... Yeah. Yeah, this is not good. Okay. Good thing I used second level blast on us. 
Uh, I'm just gonna get some okay, battle so music playing. It's moving. It's moving. First. So, following the condition of, I will, as soon as I see it oh, move no. toward us, I That's fire fine. a fireball. It's like, and it's within 120 feet, right? Yes. Uh, I'm going to need initiative rolls to be called very soon. I just need to set up the music. <laughs> Got it. Two for Lima. Nish. Three. <laughs> what are those odds? Fourteen. Did you use luck to reroll, Tommy? Because I saw the change. Oh no, I have advantage. Oh. How do you have advantage on initiative? Oh, your shield. Was... Yeah. Okay. All right. I have Tommy. Fourteen as well. Oh, uh, let me just change that. God. Damn it! Oh, you can go first. You can go first. <laughs> no, go first, but I'm going to be a fucking salty about it constantly. <laughs> you can go first. <laughs> you can go first. One of you go. We'll say you go simultaneously. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, can I do the ready action first? Yes. Roll attack. Since I see the Hydra lock on and move, I'm gonna fire. First time I actually use Firebolt. Enjoy your heat bar. Uh, seven. Twenty-two fire right at the Hydra that saw head that saw us. Roll Bloody damage. Thanks. You're blessed. Wait. Go, You're go blessed. Plus a D4 okay. to all attacks and saves. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, 2d10. 2d10, here we go. Let's see the uh, damage. 11. Four, 11 plus 4? Uh, no. no. That is just Eldritch Blast. Ah. <sighs> Alright. So then we go Arkron. <clears throat> um, I, Arkron, is there like a way to get up here? Uh, these are climbable areas so that you can't climb. You cannot climb cool. over any of the rock area, but you can climb over any green. Cool. Uh, that's actually what I'm planning on doing. I'm just gonna get up here using my dash and to get up to here. All right. That brings us to Tommy. <clears throat> Is it to the turn? I have a crazy idea since he's in water. <coughs> oh, good point. Oh. <laughs> Tommy is going to use the dash action to... Sorry, not dash action. Tommy's going to have his horsey do the dash action, so he moves over here. To where... Uh, hold I, on. I would uh, say you would... I, I know what you're planning. Um, you would need to be within the range of the spell. You would not be able to go beyond the spell's range for this. I don't need... Wait, brain. Sorry. Are you trying to collect duct electricity to zap the hydra? I'm going to take advantage of the conductivity of the water, yes. I'm, I'm going to be giving this extra effects because of the water, but it will not extend the range of Shocking Grasp, for instance. Okay, I'll take you! Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Did we get Lightning Lure? Yeah, but that brings him toward me! Good point! Oh, actually, hold on, yeah, I'm going to do it over here so that way at least I'm at the... I think it's uh, within five feet of me, so, right? Is that close to no, Well, five, 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 feet. five feet means that you can reach out to your next square over, like so. Yeah. Okay. Checking. So. Ten okay, no, uh, yeah, then just normal shocking grasp. Uh, All right. I'm going to go here to kind of block his path. I'm going to shocking grasp. All right, roll to attack. And the horsey will have to dash, so I will not be able to do my have my horsey do the one-two combo. Actually, uh, quick question: Can Lima jump onto the horse as you running past? I would say okay. you would have needed needed to have done that already. Damn it! Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll say you. I'll say you have advantage on this. Because the water. You gotta hurt. 
Nineteen. One D four. Twenty. Twenty hits. Roll damage, and I will roll a con save. <coughs> that is a twenty-one. Hey. The Hydra succeeds the con save and is not stunned. Damn. What? I did eight electrical at least. <laughs> <laughs> We now come to the Hydra's turn, and since it has five heads, it can attack five times! Oh god. Tommy, One. your job as tank is finally come! Against Bing Bong for a 22 to hit! <laughs> Wait, didn't you cast Sanctuary on Bing Bong? Uh, yeah, it, but I had to disable it because of blast. They're both concentration. <laughs> oh, right. Also, the moment you're back, anyway, blast, uh, Sanctuary goes down. Right, 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 right. So that is a okay. 22 to hit Bing Bong. And let us see Bing Bong's AC at the moment. Then we have shield. Yeah, but that doesn't do enough against an AC of 11. I so, still need to get armor for horsey. Do I bother with? Do I bother with? Um... That'll be twelve piercing damage. Yeah, I don't think Bing, it's ideal. Bing Bong will tank the hit as he and I are tanks together. All right, <laughs> another bite attack against Tommy this time. For an eleven to hit. Not even close. <laughs> Another bite against Bing Bong. Thirteen? Shield. Shield deflects against Tommy. Nine misses. But the natural one. And finally, <laughs> one last attack against Bing Bong. Twenty-five. Let's see. Uh, thinking, is there any way to reduce his thingy? Nope. I use my reaction for shield. I don't think so, but at the very least, I have made it so at least Ping Pong will just temporarily dissipate, which sucks. Uh, is it, are they dead? Uh, Bing Pong is out. He's not dead, he's just out. Dang. Or he's going to be, unless... Well, I'm yeah, rolling. because because Bing Bong is uh, from Fine Steed, he is a poofed. Yeah, he just poofs. He is like... It's like Fine Familiar, but less... but more helpful. And so, okay, Tommy... So, okay. I, I, I'll You'll say, Tommy, you fall prone because of... you've fallen from your steed. Okay. And I presume it did more than seven damage. It did 13. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Bing Bong is out for today. Zuko, it is your turn. Um, how badly injured is, uh, Tommy? Not at all. Hmm. Tommy is extremely sturdy. If anything, <coughs> actually even more. I think there is healing from anything yet, because no one's cut off a head. <coughs> yep. No one's cut off a head yet. Yeah, so, uh, I'm just gonna barrage it with uh, Eldritch Blast. Roll to I was attack. Gonna fire, I was gonna use more fire, but you know, because that usually stops the healing a bit. Because I know Hydras really hate that. I have two things to stop its healing. But since it hasn't really started healing anything, I'm just gonna blast it. Alright, roll attack. I started blast. Here. So I started blasting for plus eight. And plus one. Don't forget you blast. But uh, Andrew's plus... taking care of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 13 and 21. 13 so misses, 21 and... hits. Did I add the d4 to the 13? Uh, uh, the, the one was on the 13, so it's a 14 still misses. Mm. You right, aim for hit. one of the, you aim for one of the next, and it just barely moves out of the way, but then the second one you aim right at the cluster of of where all the necks are coming from, and you hit roll damage. 
Oh wait, did you say that was Eldritch Blast? Mm-hmm. Okay, the second one hit for 24. Or 25. I, I yeah, okay. Like, I think we're like, so what's the damage on that blast? <laughs> I think it's a D10. Uh, nine. Nine, nine damage. damage. Nice. I don't think it started uh, bleeding or anything to try to heal it yet, so I haven't had to change damage type, so I just started blasting for regular. No worries. So... Lima, it is your turn. What do you want, Nova? Presley's probably having trouble with roomies. No. Dogs. Dog. Oh. So, what's the deal with Nothing. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Pit. I want the hunt. Oh, what do I want to use? Not close enough for that. For the other effect. Yeah. No, I Come here. <coughs> so, Come here. Come on. Main action. Gonna use a cantrip. Nova, up. Aww. I'm gonna bring him Nova, up. I see up. him. Oh, this is Beauty. This is Jimbo. Cute pupper. Hi, Jimbo. Jimbo, I say hi. You. Say hi, Jimbo. Oh. <laughs> He's a pit oh, no. uh, Jack Russell. Nova, come here. Come here. Come here, Nova. Uh, Lima, you miss with the Ray of Frost. And Here's Noah. Oh. That's a real cutie. All right, we move so to Tommy's turn. Wait, it's still doing stuff. It's still doing stuff. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Bad. No, you forget. I'm a magic. <laughs> I keep forgetting you and your ridiculous BS. Let's be honest. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Dude, chaos and order always have ridiculous BS. No. Yeah, I'm gonna mirror it. I'm gonna bonus action mirror image and then they roll on the uh, wild magic table. So. I don't have a feeling the Hydra is going to fly. Uh. That, that'd be scary. <laughs> if it could fly. Cause then it's I was a thinking. <laughs> I was thinking. It a pseudo dragon. I was thinking our crowd would be flying. Uh, what is your result, uh, Lima? I feel blue. <laughs> what? Lima yeah. is blue. I, I will say, <coughs> I will say you're primarily blue, but you're also swirling with other like light greens and purples. Other blue scale colors. Yeah. <laughs> he gets. Are you telling me Lima just turns blue? Blue. I God, have <laughs> Like all the same wave. Oh, it, it reminds me of a bit in a uh, in a campaign I watch, but I will not go into that here. <laughs> no uh, worry. So that's Lima's turn. We go to Arkron. Um. Ba -da -ba -ba, uh, I need to move another sixty feet. Yeah, you and I feel that pain. For now. Wow. You should get a horse. <laughs> I have. I mean, we have. I have a horse. We just don't. Y'all don't Here's want the, the horse thing. killed. I had it. Yeah, that. And I had a plan, but Tommy just went right up to it. My job is I just, tank. I just had the uh, <coughs> won't run in case it moved toward us, in which it did. Basically, if it was gonna move towards us, I was going to. I was gonna be the one to jump on its back. Yeah, why do you think I'm giving you opportunity to do? I'm distracted. I want to see Archon suplex a Hydra. Alright, Archon, is that your turn? <laughs> so stupid. Um... Would it break all the necks or just one of them? Don't... don't break the necks. I don't want to know what happens <laughs> when a, a, a Hydra tries to regrow its head while its head is still attached. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna do now. Oh, I kind of want to see what ha what happens with that. Uh, Ar Archon, is that your turn? Uh, unfortunately, if I use action surge, I'd only be able to move another thirty feet. Right. So Tommy. Or no, wait. Uh, yeah, oh. only thirty feet. Yeah. Yeah. 
Tommy uses Taser Strike! Roll to attack, <laughs> you have advantage still. Are you just gonna keep shocking your ass, bitch? Um, it's the only thing I got until we go home to retrieve my hammer. I, I just love how Tommy just probably removes his hand and has a taser under his wrist. No, no, it just flips upward. It flips upward. Oh, I hit my fingers. 31! Uh, 31? I got a 27. That'll hit! Jesus Christ! And I'm rolling a con save. Uh, 21 succeeds. That's 10 hell. shocking damage. 10? Electric. Yeah, 10. <clears throat> Alright. Is that your um, full turn? Basically just have... I want to imagine what happens is since Tommy is doing his melee, he's basically just palm striking and slapping him with electricity each time. <laughs> Alright, we come to the Hydra's turn, and it will smarten up and... <laughs> 5... 10... 15... 20... 25... And get out of the water. Uh, let's just 30, and you because the wa the water's hurting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is he reading? Okay. Charles Hive Mind Lingering. Yeah, water hurts. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> this water is hurting. Tommy, five attacks against you. <laughs> oh, natural twenty on the first one. Yeah. So I'll count the second one since you are silvery barbsing it. No, I get to say no to crits, remember? Oh, yeah! And my AC is 22! Alright, so, uh, 23 hits you with 14 piercing damage. Healed. Hey, hold on. Let me check if the crit thing is a reaction. Hold on. No, uh, it, it's adamantine armor. It's just as passive. You're immune to critical hits. Oh, yeah, that too. I forgot about that. Never mind. Yeah, shield. Okay, there's a ruin. How do you <laughs> oh, it's in my range now. <clears throat> so once again, there's just a storm of bite attacks going your way. Um, oh, it looks... I think that was the first one I rolled. Uh, yeah, well, uh, there is a 28 still, so you take 14 piercing damage as it just is swarming up biting you and you're deflecting it with this magical shield, and then the last head comes in, bites, and chomps through that shield for 14 damage. Okay. I take 14. Let me just pull up. I can't pull up my character sheet as I have to now pick up my fiance. Alright. Um, Zuko Mamba. Can someone, wait, can someone roll concentration for me? Uh, I can take care of Tommy's sheet for you. I can okay. do it, All actually. Right. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Advantage concentration check to maintain left. As soon as the Hydra enters my range, I cast Hex. You did not hold Hex. I, w I mean, I'm just gonna cast it. Uh, okay, so you cast Hex. Hydra is Hex. Uh, uh, advantage concentration save? Uh, yeah, advantage concentration save. So I use one. I actually I have a pack slot and a spell slot. What the fuck? 17 succeeds. Uh, yep. Your pack slots are from Warlock, your spell slots are from Bard. I guess I'll just use a pack slot. That's one of the weird things about Warlock. It's because of how pack slots work, a lot of mechanics that involve spell slots get old on you. Alright, so I use that, but now I'm gonna use the Eldritch Blast, because I don't think it's healing from anything, still. Alright. Roll Eldritch Blast Attacks. Sixteen. Sixteen hits. It's D4, but it's better right now. <clears throat> we don't need to bother with D4s. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Alright. 1d10 plus 4 plus 1d6 hex damage. Yes. 
And that's on each of them, so 2d10 plus 8 plus 2d6. So 2d10. So this is both put together. Yes. 2d10 plus 2d6 plus 16. Uh, no, eight. Not plus, plus eight, eight. Plus eight, my bad. Plus eight. Okay, so roll 2d10 plus 8 plus 2d6. Go! Yes. Yes. 28. 28. You blast, and both hits hit the same head, which explodes. This is so sensitive! Damn. Uh, I think. Oh, that's uh, that's almost like you have to get our. It's blue, it's mind. Lima! Lima! It is your turn. Here now? Okay. Oh. Remember, guys, I can only do shields so many times in a row. Luckily, Stop. we are using spell points, so I can actually do with a lot more now. Mm -hmm. So, double token lumber, I'm gonna do another bonus action one, so using last two sorcery points. Alright. So double token lumber. One is being 18, because I'm forgoing the roll. Alright. One second. 18 hits. What is damage? So, roll this right here. Uh, that's 3 and 7. Going to 3 and 7. Fire and sidekick. I'm going fire for the main damage. Sidekick for the back. Alright, so it has disadvantage on its next saving throw. Yes, and, it, and it took fire damage, so it will not regenerate. And now roll D4, see if the... Right, pass it. Uh, so 17, does that hit? 17 hits. So Lima, you reach up to the stump and you grab it, and your hand burns with fire, and the other heads react. So two and five. So... Lightning or cold? Cold for the damage, lightning for the effect. Alright, and now you switch it to cold. And the neck freezes over and shatters. Oh, mm. oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. Disable the regeneration so the heads will not pop out immediately. No, no, I wouldn't, oh no, because I rolled really low. What is a six? It's just a modron. Just a, a modron. Yeah. And it just using a modron. Thank fuck. Read out the entire oh. effect. Hold on. <coughs> a Motron chosen by the DM appears in an unoccupied space five feet of me and disappears one minute later. A what? A Motron. A Motron is... Yeah, it's a tiny little construct. My god's friends! Friends! Well, not a tiny construct, but like, you know. <laughs> I'm just, oh, sorry, I'm just gonna get it. As soon as I saw the, the it was the lone dark, my heart raced like mad. That's kind of ironic when you said it in order. Mm. Basically, summoned an order elemental. Yeah, I said the order elemental. Can't. Ah, it's like the universe in this one. Oh, sweet <laughs> fuck. Uh, what would be a good token? Uh, hold on. Uh, I just have another. We'll say one. we'll say this is uh this is the Modron. That works. Beep boop. What is going on? They're and... five feet of me. Never. They're five feet of me. They're what? Five feet. They're like, what is going on? They look up and they see the Hydra. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Fuck. That's not good. Arkron, good your turn. Alrighty, let's go. The Hydra is down to four heads. 30 Head feet. Up, and then can I leap off and jump onto the fucking Hydra? Um, I would say you would have to dash action to do so. I would dash action, yeah. <clears throat> Luchador, go. I'll dash, yeah, I'll, I'll dash action. All right. Want, so make please, your jump check. Suplex, this thing. Which is an acrobatics or athletics? Uh, that's athletics. I'm going to rage beforehand. 
Alright. <clears throat> uh, plus bless. Uh, bless is only on saving throws and attacks, not checks. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So you can jump 19 feet. Which is enough to get onto the Hydra. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Someone do create water so I can get more advantage again. Oh. <laughs> jump, hit the, land onto the, uh, land onto... What, what would I land onto? Uh, you're landing onto its back. Okay. Boom. It does have one of those. And then <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to... Action Surge. And I'm going to start striking at one of the back of the necks. Right where, like, the vertebrae would be. Alright. Roll to attack. <clears throat> um, since this thing is, like, two size categories bigger than me, I cannot grapple it. Correct. One is in suplex, <laughs> Honestly, that wasn't even a consideration. I just wanted to throw a high dread, you guys. I, I um... I, 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 I don't have the necessary stuff to do that yet. <laughs> it was gonna be funny. We'd all have a laugh about it. Note how I said yet. Exactly. <laughs> You're getting there. You're getting there, though. One day, um, you'll be able to flex the sky. 27 to hit. That'll hit. One day. You uh, go. 14, but plus bless. Plus bless, you hit. Just barely. You don't One even need to roll. Of a dream. Okay. Where Arcrano suplex a Hydra while Zuko heals himself with the amulet of the drunkard by inhaling an entire total tank his beard. twelve bludgeoning damage. Uh, Twenty-two bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Is it dead? Nope. No, not even. Um. Sorry, I heard a. Can I? I didn't know if it was a head or a. Can I try to re-roll my history check to see what this thing is? Uh, yeah. Well, now that you're up close to it. Fifteen. You can get a real close look at it. It's a hydra, and you are sure that you all can take this thing, and especially since it is looking pretty dang hurt. Okay. Guys, we got this! Hey, I got a question! Uh, anyone sentence. got consistent fire magic? Tommy! I do. Your turn! <coughs> keep it, but keep hurting it! Waving at Tommy. Okay. Keep burning it! As Tommy is going to just do another shocking grasp attack. As Tommy doesn't have his weapon, so he doesn't have many options beyond that right now. That's fair. Thank God for blessings! Possibly one of the strongest and simplest spells! Uh, question. Uh, would it be possible to run in action for control flames to increase the size of a firebolt from no. our other friend? Okay, thank you. That's why we shark. Guys, I, I I have a picture that's gonna go in the comedy club. All right, let's see it. Oh right, someone needs to roll for Tommy. My, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> it is, uh, is it is it of a? Uh... Oh, you, you've you've gotten full Tommy, Andrew. <laughs> Auto oh, sorry. I am next to my church. Uh, I I'll, I'll roll for Tommy's attacks. Okay. Comedy club was where again? Uh, general. 18 will hit. <clears throat> ah! Feeling that five lightning. Uh, you guys have just completely countered what this Hydra could do. Because it can't take its ton of reactions, and you're just burning off any of the stumps. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how are we taking its reactions? Because uh, shocking grasp prevents it from taking reactions. <laughs> oh my god. 
I, I'm not even mad about it, though, because I at least get to attack with the Hydra. One to Tommy! Uh, let's with see, what was a 26 to hit. Shit, wait! Shield! You block the attack! Thank God it is so cheap to keep up! One to Lima! Uh, uh, if they pass me, remember, I have mirror image up. Ten. It misses anyway. Yep. One to Arkron. Fourteen. Fourteen misses, and I will repost. All right, and finally, just for fun, one to the Modron. <laughs> Fifteen. I'm pretty sure that hits a monodrome. Uh, let me let me check up a Modron stat. Uh, it's uh, a monodrome specifically. Uh, monodrone it meets it, beats it. How much hit points does a monodrome have? Uh, uh average five. It, the Hydra reaches out and grabs the monodrome in its mouth, raises it up, and crunch! And then the pieces of the monodrone fade away as they fall. Uh, 26 to hit. 26 hits. Uh, 12 plus a d8. 17 bludgeoning. 17! So, like, it tries to bite me, uh, but I just dodge away and just crack at one of its teeth. Not <laughs> yet, like, legit dislodging its tooth. Yeah, the tooth goes flying. Um. Alright. Zikomamba! I'm uh, and I'm gonna throw a firebolt at it. All right, roll to attack. And uh, the hex is still on, so 15. 15 hits. 2d10 plus 1d6. Plus your charisma modifier, because you're. Effects. Nope, not no, not on not for only on, on Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Uh, it's 8 fire damage with 5 curse damage, so 13 damage straight to its uh, core. <laughs> Lima, it is I your turn as up. I will switch the music. To its chest. How many hearts does the Hydra have? It has so many heads. Lima, well, your turn. Yep. Go ahead. Well, it's actually rage. Okay, D8 time. Let's see what I get with the D8. <coughs> Five. Five. When a creature attacks me before my race ends, they take 1D6 force damage in reputation. So basically, like, yeah, good enough. Repose damage, basically. Yeah. Oh, this and then is... Did you heal anybody with my, if I had a bonus action? No. Oh, what? sorry. I was wondering, I have one bonus action left that I, since I didn't cast any hexes or anything. What were you using Does for your bonus need action? Healing? No one needs healing. I okay. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. But Tommy is oh, way too far one. away, so unless you go forward. Uh, 120 feet, I believe. Uh, healing word is only 60. Healing word. Oh, 60? Shit. Um. So, are you okay? He only has one heart. You cannot reach Tommy with Healing Word, unfortunately. Uh, you have probably have my work. Yeah, probably not. Uh, depending on how long it takes. Uh, uh, the lines. So, um, Healing Word cannot be cast Lima's turn. I will, yeah. So, now, 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 action comes around with my bonus action, and... 24. 24 hits. So, 14. 7. Double 7! Loves with doubles. Uh, on a double, you get to choose any effect and damage you want. Oh. Oh, yeah! I forgot we made that rule. So. Effect! They take additional 1d4 damage. Sorry, their turn. And damage. I like it to be thunder. So you yeah, reach yeah. out, and then the thunderous energy surrounds the Hydra. 
Does that mean that it's getting attacked with a reverb or feedback? Reverb. Feedback. Uh -huh. Archron. Die. Yes. Um. Tis thy turn. Two attacks. Roll. Uh. You do have inspiration if you haven't used it. Yes, I do have inspiration. So I'm at a net right now. For this. Yep. Uh, 13 plus bless. Throw that d4! 15 hits! Yep! Um, and... Second hit, 20 will hit. Yep. Uh, actually, um, beforehand I will bonus action Eldritch Claw Tattoo. Alright, so you get an extra d6 force damage on each of these. Yep. Oh, boy. So... That's 9, 20 bludgeoning, plus 4 force. Alright. And one of the heads tears off from your tendrils. Ooh. We now go to Tommy. Yes, it has three heads left. Me and just that. So instead of shocking grasp, actually do something completely different. Oh, he uses oh. green flame blade with his wait, oh. uh, wait. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's still a melee attack. I ask. Uh, you, you do need a weapon running. for you do need a weapon for green flame blade. I'm a that well, is. A them. Nope. T Tommy's hammer is getting enchanted. Oh yeah, what do they have on them now? You can attack with your walking stick, which is a quarter staff at this point. I think oh, yeah. I gotta have that. Okay. Tommy wishes to... I forgot that I have that since now I get a chance to basically You can use green flame blade with that. Tommy wishes to use the power of the mighty Shinali! Oh, you <laughs> Oh, whoop, accidentally rolled religion for Tommy when tried to click stuff. You swing and bonk, and because it's a natural one and you were attacking with your walking stick, you're gonna get knocked what? prone. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I use luck. Oh, luck. Yes, luck is this. Bastard, remember? Let's see it. All right. That is a 10. So you don't get knocked prone, but you still bonk it, and you, the Hydra is not affected. No, well, it doesn't. Wait, sorry. My apologies. Did you say... Did it hit, though? It did not hit. Anyone got anything for advantage? No. Well, Taylor, right. wait. Taylor, uh, Arkron, and I believe Tommy are flanking. Wait! Wait! Hold on! Because I think this is funnier! Because Tommy, you do no damage! But at the beginning of the Hydra's turn, it takes at least one damage! And it had one hit point! Three! <laughs> oh, wait. So, are we, wait, are we permitting it to do one point of damage? No! Lima dealt one point from the effect from <laughs> the Touch of Limbo! No, I before I need to roll, I rolled a three, so... Yes, but you did at least one damage, you didn't even need to roll. So, Lima, like, how do you want to do this? Falls over. You want to do this? Yeah. Hey, remember I said thunder? The body's just gonna start pulsating with the noises of thunder inside of it, and it explodes like a pimple. Oh, so, I thought you were gonna, like, cause the reverb of the bonk sound to rattle inside its body. So, it... That's even funnier. So the sound... Do you realize we can't collect anything from that? So, the the Hydra... The, the Lima's thunderous blast from their touch rings yeah. out. And then, all of a sudden, after Tommy, you swing... And the high And parts of the Hydra skin burst open from the sound wave. As it falls. Da -da 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 -da. 
Congratulations, you have beaten the Hydra. Woo. Uh, Tommy, no. Tommy is not completely retarded. Tommy wishes to burn the remains while he still can. <laughs> uh, uh, Zuko uh, gets up from the <laughs> cart and uh, walks over to see if the Hydra had anything on him. Before... Uh, can Archon dive into the uh, into the into it to get the heart? Uh, I, I'll say you 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 can't dive into it because of the size, but you can dig through it to pull out the heart. Yeah. Punch the heart immediately with blade. No, 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 no. Archon's like legit holding the heart up. No, 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 Tommy, Tommy. This is very valuable. Yeah, and it will regenerate. No, it will not. Not without the heart. Not without the heart. If we had to go round two, I'm blaming you. <laughs> Besides, uh, we're at Lima the and to check for anything valuable on the Hydra. Besides, Lima and our, uh, Lima and Zuko dealt with its regeneration already. Yeah, I'm making sure oh, it stays that way. Lima and Zuko, if you want to investigate the Hydra, it'll be survival, not investigation. Oh, whoops. Uh, in that case, it's a my, it's my survival is only two, so just subtract one from that. All right. <laughs> Frederick, it's safe to come back 13. over. Yeah. You bring Anything up the or smile on, I find? Uh, Lima. The hide at this point is unusable because it is split open at so many points that you can't get any good pieces from it. But you can get the you can get the heads and the teeth and the claws. I'm gonna go grab the tooth that I punched out. Nice. <laughs> uh, roll me investigation just because it might have it, it getting possibly lost in the grass and the water. <laughs> okay. Or surviving. Zuko is just gonna. Do I find anything? Um, <laughs> you find just as I... much as Lima did. Inspiration. <laughs> I'm gonna come go out with the and, net. Uh, I'm just gonna go start collecting teeth to sell. Sixteen. You are able to find the tooth. You can tell it's. You can tell it's the tooth you punched out because it is. It's not that it fell out. You broke it off at the root. <laughs> Lima's gonna pick up three of the Hydra heads and all four of the claws. Uh, it has more than four claws. <laughs> oh, how many claws does it have? It has, um, 16. Four on each limb. So 16 claws, holy shit. And you get three Hydra heads. And uh, start picking out a few teeth. Everything's all done. Tommy is going to just, uh... You okay, huh? Um, I'm going to burn the remains that we are not keeping, as I do not want this thing ever to return. Alright. Also because it would be bad on the environment to leave a corpse out in the middle of the desert. Seriously, people. Please. Well, it, it's... Wanna... This isn't a desert, it's a very hilly, kind of arid terrain. It's like a savanna. It's yeah. a savanna. Oh, well, it's still bad for the environment to leave a rotting corpse out. just kind of... Sees Tommy try to figure out how to light it on fire, and I just kind of throw a firebolt and just catch it on fire and just to proceed to move on. One right. hand. Hey, Frederick, have you ever tried uh, Hydra meat before? I uh, can't say I have. Well, neither have I. Let's try it. <laughs> Zuko is just like, oh god, I have to get the pan, don't I? Wait, wait, wait. wait. I... Unseen oh, servant, get the cookware. Hold on. Lima brings out the lion drake organ and the meat. Oh, that the, any of the Lion Drake meat is rancid at this point. Oh yeah, throw it out. Yeah, the John. Yeah. Um, I will say, Lima and Zuko, you could have harvested meat if you guys want to eat Hydra meat <laughs> in the evening. Sure, I mean, well, that. sure. I call upon the unseen servant again. I'll move the Dragon Gate's organs then as well, because the organs probably decayed as well. So, right, yeah, that. Zuko is just going to call upon um, the unseen servant to do the main part of uh, the while Zuko uh, is Arkrod, are you and Frederick eating. eating the heart, or are you going to try and sell the heart? I'm going to try and sell the heart. By the way, you have a voice changed on. I shouldn't. You do. It's very faint. It's very faint. Is this better? 
You sound nah. like you sound like you're in the cyberverse. He's still the cyberpunk man. He's becoming a cyber psycho. Hold on, I'm changing uh, my settings. Um, don't worry, I'm chipping in. There. Now I can't use voice mod, but I think it's better okay. than you're having good. You're good. a bad effect. Don't I mean, here's the thing. Yeah, hmm. The the thing is, like, you can take the heart with you and try and sell it, but it may start um, rotting before you can sell it, is the only concern. I don't think I have any spells for preserving it, sadly. Oh, Does anybody do. know any ice magic? I think, I think I do. I do too, I think. Uh, 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 Press digitation has one feature to preserve. Uh, read it, read it out, please. Uh, let me double check. I think I, it had one thing. Um, create instantaneous harmless sensory effect. Um, you chill, warm, or flavor one cubic foot of non-living material. Well, it's dead, so it's non-living. I would say that would only be for, like, you, you basically chill water to the point where it's like, ah, cool drinking water. That wouldn't help you preserve it. Hmm. I am I horrified uh, at the idea of you eating a Hydra after the last time you tried to be a sick creature? Can I, I cast Spare the Dying on the heart? No, that no, would no, not no. work. I pause it to start regenerating. I'm sorry, but, uh, can I use Ray of Frost to preserve it a little bit more? Ray of Frost would damage it more than anything. Give it freezer burn. Sure, sure. Uh, um, I mean, are there benefits to eating a Hydra heart? Only one way to find out. Roll Actually, wait, 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 wait. Actually, can we roll medicine for the thing? I, I, yeah, I, I'm you all may roll medicine to see. I'm going to cook and consume the the hydra heart. All right, I'll take yeah, a piece of it. We're checking the nutritional properties for the question. Can, Lima, can we do our medicine? Lima, you know that consuming the hydra heart will give an individual slight regenerative properties. I shall uh, ex elaborate more uh, as, in, as I have time to think on it. But there will be benefits to it. So leave us going to quickly stop Arkham and let them the entire heart or only some of it? Uh, I, would, I would say you need a good portion of the heart. Like this heart is probably like a few pounds you would need like a good the the uh, a piece of it the size of a good stick to get the benefit. Oh, I guess we're feeding tonight. And Tommy but, is curious yeah. of if he can actually digest these. So oh, medicine. I rolled a crit for it, so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I rolled a crit for it, so you don't have to worry about it. So, yes, it will cost. It usually gives you a little bit more regeneration than, to yourself, but it needs to be like a size of a stick. And I'm still slightly iffy on that. So, just to let you know what that does if you prepare it properly. I cast pressure digitation on the heart while it's cooking. To do what? Flavor! Okay. Flavor, yeah. To make it better to slow down. Yeah, Archron, Archron will cut it into, like, even steaks. Like... How many steaks could I get out of a heart, out of that, out of that size heart? Well, funny enough, the perfect amount, four. Is <laughs> Tommy, Tommy wouldn't, wouldn't be able to eat it. I'll try some. So, me, Zuko, Lima, and Frederick. Yep. Tommy feels slightly out of the room, but understand. Tommy is going to be like, wait, wait, before everyone eats. He just kind of has your finger and just kind of does one presentation on each steak just to kind of season it with the perfect steak seasonings. Well, um, the benefit you gain is that for the next month in game, you will, um, if you take damage, you can use your reaction to regain 1d4 plus your constitution modifier in hit points. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to just flavor town all these steaks so they're perfect. So potentially, okay. Zuko even does like a little salt like thing where he's just like, 
puts it down perfectly. Bam! And then it's just like, okay, let's eat. <laughs> Emerald Legacy. Bam! <laughs> Tommy is gonna say grace and then kind of sulk off in the corner and just begin praying as he kind of wonders. So you all will have this effect until 11.19 in-game. Gotcha. Yep. Zuko is gonna is gonna take a fork and knife and then uh just very civilizedly eat it and then also take a bit of his of his ever full tankard. <laughs> that seems like yeah, is uh that seems like a good place to stop for the night, or rather the day. <laughs> yep. Our we dinner. Ate a so okay. Oh boy. So yeah, thank you. And uh, we have three Hydra heads in our inventory. Yep. So uh, thank you, thank I'm you, players. Th thank you, players, for playing my game. I couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you, audience, for everyone who showed up. If you're watching this on YouTube, go to all like, comment, subscribe. It helps with the algorithm. If you're watching on Twitch, um, follow me for more of this content. And yeah. I wish I had organs. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are a robot. You do not have the ability to process meat. I'm sure one day, Tommy, you can be a real boy. At least on the bright side, I can't get drunk. <laughs> you can't get one drunk, but it I may can't. rust up your, your internal stuff. That's the closest thing to kidney and liver damage I'll ever get to enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna pick a raid target and head out. Thank you, chat. Yep, yep. Thank you.